Joining us from Athens by phone is former Greek finance minister Stefano Manos. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. For minister, for making time for us today. You're an opponent of the current government. Uh, Papandreou will be addressing Parliament. Will his government survive? It, it, it might survive. It, it, normally, it would not survive, but uh, with Papandreou and this particular party, you never know. Uh, it, it's, uh, I wouldn't bet either way yet. Uh, as I said, normally, and uh, one should expect that he should go. Now, but th the point now is not necessarily what's going to happen with Papandreou, but whether there's going to be a new government uh, right. which uh, will, uh, will be able to pull Greece out of the mess that Papandreou created. By that I mean that Papandreou may stay in the leadership of his party, but that the party and another party would support a government that would, as I say, pull us out of the mess. And this Minister, is what, what the global markets are concerned about is not who is in that seat, but whether who's in that seat will honor the commitments that were hammered out in the Eurozone debt deal thus far. Will any new government, even an interim one, abide by those agreements? My guess is that yes, they will abide, provided such government is formed. Uh, and that's, that's what's at stake at the moment, whether in fact the two parties, that is the party that's in power and the main opposition party, can get together and agree on such a government that would pull us out of the mess. And, and I hope they do, but we will know a lot more by tomorrow. Uh, sir, from the from the finance minister's position, you've been in this government before. When you look at the bond market right now, you've got yields above 100 percent. I mean, these are uh, financial difficulties and strain that would make it impossible for Greece to grow without severe austerity. Will the public support that? Well, there's, there's constant talk of austerity. Greece, uh, the country, has a tremendous wealth in assets, which so far the socialist government has, has refused to sell or dispose of. But if you of. cannot collect taxes and bring in revenue to the Greek state under the former government, under the current government, how can a future one do that? How can you assure the global markets that that is possible? By going out and collecting taxes. Uh, it's not impossible. It's done all over the world. It's very much a question that the government in place has the political will to do it. But listen to what I'm saying. Greece could reduce, could slash its debt uh, yeah. to half what it is by selling assets. The assets are here. And the problem is that the government that's now probably towards the end of its tenure has refused to sell any assets whatsoever. And that's why we've reached that decision yeah. in Brussels to, uh, to reduce our debts. We didn't have to do that. We could have sold yeah. assets and achieved the same result. Minister, thank